Are you new to Kajabi and you're feeling lost? This video is going to serve as your roadmap to fast track your success and get your business up and generating income as quickly as possible. If you're ready to stop feeling overwhelmed and start mastering Kajabi, let's dive in. What's up, it's Danny, and Kajabi has helped me turn my community into an over six figure business, and I'm here to help you do the same. Now, if you have not started using Kajabi yet, I have an extended 30 day trial that gives you immediate access to my zero to 10K course roadmap that is very helpful in understanding how to make your first $10,000 in course sales. All right, to start, one of the most common mistakes that I see new course creators make is trying to do all of the things. There's two words that I want you to keep in your mind as we go through this process, and it's simple and streamlined. Don't get distracted by doing all the things. Take this step by step, and I promise it's going to lead you to where you want to be and take away the overwhelm. In order to do this, I have created a five step quick start action plan for you that we're gonna dive into. But before we do, it's important that you understand the layout inside of Kajabi, so let's take a quick look at that. When you log into Kajabi, you'll be in your dashboard and you can see on this left-hand side, there are different sections. Now really you're going to just be in four sections. The first one, products, you'll probably be under just courses, but you can see you'll have coaching, community, podcasts, all that. We're gonna start off in courses or maybe for you, you're gonna start off with coaching your community, whatever that may be, you will be in products in that section. Then under sales, you will be under offers. You'll find yourself in there a lot. Don't worry about the rest for now. And then website, you will be under landing pages. And in marketing, you'll be usually in email campaigns. So those are the sections that you will find yourself in. Now that you have familiarized yourself with the sections of Kajabi that you will be in, let's start off with the first step in my quick start plan on Kajabi and that's settings. You need to set up the essential settings in order to have things up and running when your course is ready. So you can see here, this is the checklist that I give you access to. The first thing is going to edit the site details. We are going to go into your profile and hit this bottom left button where it says settings. And the first thing you're going to click on is site details. And you'll see you've got the title of your website. You can change this to whatever your name is. It should already be there when you created your Kajabi account. But the big thing is you're going to want to change the subdomain if you have an account that allows you to do this. Now, if you are not on Kajabi's growth plan, which is their middle plan, then don't worry about this. You'll just keep this the same. But if you do want to have your own URL or domain, which I think looks much more professional, you're gonna to wanna to change it now if you can. So you'll just hit this manage domain button and then you can pick what your custom domain is. For me, I already had a domain heydannyj.com and so I just changed my Kajabi site to learn.heydannyj.com. So you will set this up. Next, back in site details, you want to make sure you have a support email there, your language, the default currency of your business, and then here you can add in branding, your logo, your fab icon, which is the icon that shows up when you have tabs open when you're browsing the internet. And then I also recommend that you put in your brand colors here. This is going to be very helpful when we go and create your website and landing pages. These colors then will just be very easy to click and add in when we start creating. If you scroll down, you'll see there's things to add instructor info and SEO and social sharing. Don't worry about this. Remember, we're staying simple in the beginning of just the essentials. So once you do that, you can head back to your checklist and check off that site details are done. And let's now head to marketing settings. So we'll go back to settings and then you will click on marketing settings. From here, you're going to wanna to make sure you add in your marketing contact address. Now, this is vital if you want to stay compliant with email laws, you need to make sure you have an address here. And I highly recommend, like, do not use your home address. Get a PO box or something. I'm all about, especially nowadays, gotta be safe, okay? So use a virtual post box or get a PO box or whatever and put that address in here. You can also scroll down and you can change your email settings if you'd like of what name you want to show up when you email out to people. So for me, the name I'd want to show up is Danny J and then from the email address, Danny. So you can see this is a preview of what it would look like. Yours may have Kajabi under that and that's totally fine. Just tweak it to how you want it to be. The big thing here is really just this address. You could leave everything else here as is. So next I will 
check that off. And then we're going to head to Kajabi payment settings. That's next. So we'll go back to settings and then you will go to Kajabi payment settings. Now from here, you may need some of your tax information, your EIN number, if you have a business and you will go through the process to set up payments. I recommend to use Kajabi payments. Kajabi payments is great, accepts all major credit cards and even does things like buy now, pay later, if that's something you wanna offer for your clients. Once you have done that, then you can also set up if you want to be collecting sales tax. Now you can do that by going into this section right here that says tax, but I highly encourage you to talk with a tax accountant, a tax professional before you do this. Very important to understand taxes and all the implications of things when selling online services. Once you have done that, you will check that off. And if this was a little too fast for you, I do have a tutorial where I go over the settings a bit more slowly and in depth. I have linked that in the description and it's in your checklist as well. Okay, let's move on to step two of my quick start action plan. And that is building a wait list. Before you ever start building out your product, it's so important to have a place where you can collect the names and emails of people who are potentially interested in buying what you have to offer. Don't make the common mistake of only talking about your course or coaching or community when you have it all finished. Start hyping it up now on whatever social media platforms you have or with friends and family. That way when you do launch, you have people that are excited and ready to buy. Now, a pro tip here is some people will even sell their course before they've even created it. So for example, like I have done that before where I sold a course where I knew kind of the general idea of what I was gonna talk about. But then I had people pay for the course and then they filled out a questionnaire. And from that questionnaire, then I understood, okay, this is what they're wanting to learn. This is the outcome they're hoping to have. And then I based my modules off of those questionnaires. And I did this also by dripping content within Kajabi. So people got this module maybe two weeks after they bought and then the second module three weeks or whatever. That way I can be creating the course with my ideal audience in mind. Now you definitely don't have to do something like that, but it's just so important to understand that you have to give people what they want, not what you think they need. And so how do you know what they want? You are constantly trying to talk and be in communication with and interviewing and on the phone with your potential ideal audience and understanding what are they wanting to buy and then you sell them that and then inside the course you can give them also what they really need to. I see so often people create these courses where they're like, I know people need this, I'm gonna sell them this, but it doesn't sell well at all because they didn't package it in the way people want it. Okay, so something to think about. And this is something we talk a lot about in my zero to 10K course roadmap that you got immediate access to if you signed up with the job using my link. So hopefully you've checked that out. So right now we're just gonna create a simple wait list. That way, as we are getting ready to promote our course product or service to people on social media and our friends and family, we have a place where we can collect those emails when we're ready to sell. So what are you going to do? You can see here is an example of one that I created to get on the wait list for my course in a week bootcamp that I have not yet created. And so this is a wait list for it. It's so simple. It does not need to be fancy. This isn't a sales page. This is just for a wait list, okay? So how do we create this? You'll see you have the steps here in your checklist. What you'll do is in your Kajabi, you are going to go to website and hit landing pages. From here, you will hit new landing page, and then you're going to use this lead generation page wizard. Super helpful. We're gonna use the power of AI. You should already have your logo here that you added in your settings from before, but if not, you can upload it here again. And then you're going to pick the colors that you want. Now, when I click in, my brand colors are also here because we created that setting. So I can pick the brand colors of the button. I can pick the background color, and I can also pick the font. Now, once I do this, then I will hit continue. And then you're going to add in a headline and supporting copy. So you can see here, I have get on the wait list for the course in a week bootcamp. Then you're going to add in your supporting copy. And I would recommend to kind of give a time of when the wait list is going to become open or when the course is gonna become open. And then also I would tell people that you're going to give your wait list like an exclusive discount. This gives an incentive for people to sign up for the wait list. Cause if you're just like, hey, get on the wait list and there's not something in it for people, they may not do it. But if you're like, hey, and when the course goes live, you get a hundred dollar discount for being on the wait list for the first two days that we're live. That's 
that's way more enticing. People will be more likely to sign up. So think of something that you could do for that and put that into your supporting copy. From there, you will hit continue and then you can add in social links that you want to have. This isn't super necessary, but you can. And then you'll just hit finish and you will see it has created the page for you. So if I were to copy and paste this, you can see this is the page that we created. It looks awesome. Now you can go in and you could tweak it, but remember simple and streamlined. The next thing that you have to do is you want to customize the email and thank you page in the form. So we're gonna hit view form details. And this is a form that is going to be on that page. We need to edit it. You can pick double opt-in or single opt-in. The big thing though, is you're going to scroll down. You can leave everything as is. You're going to add an automation and the automation is going to then tag your audience. You're going to create a new tag and that would be give it any type of name. Okay. And so you add that tag and then hit save. This is going to allow you to send emails directly to just this audience later on. And then I also recommend though, to send your audience an email. So you can see for me personally, Personally, for my course in a week bootcamp waitlist, if I scroll down, you'll see that I have it add a tag and then also send an email. So I'll click on this and then hit send an email. And then you're able to add an email to your audience, just telling them how excited you are for them to be on your wait list. So you can see here, this is mine. And I just share a little bit about what is to come. So I'd write that out, add that in, and then make sure you hit save and you are good to go. Now you may have noticed in Kajabi, there's many ways to do one thing. There's also an option where you can create a waitlist funnel, but I don't recommend doing that because if you're on a lower Kajabi plan, you only have a certain amount of funnels. And this again, just has to be simple. So I would just do it the way I did it. And then you don't have to waste one of your funnels. And this way is just as good. You're welcome. I got you. Now, part three of my Kajabi quick start checklist is you need to set up a lead magnet. Now, a lead magnet is something free that you give to your audience that builds up your email list. So I know we have people on a wait list that's gonna build up the list, but the best way to get more people on your list that you can then directly sell to when your course or product goes live is through a lead magnet. You don't own Instagram followers or YouTube subscribers, but you you do on your email list where you have direct access to people's inbox. So this is so important. I have a very in-depth tutorial that I would love for you to watch after this video. I recommend that you watch this full video, understand what are your steps, and then you can go through and watch each individual tutorial and then check them off. I have linked the tutorial in building out a lead magnet. That's going to be so helpful for you down below. I even share the back end of how to create a lead magnet and then how to set it all up in Kajabi. Very helpful and it's gonna allow you to sell your course so much easier when it's ready to go live. If you haven't figured it out yet, this checklist that you may have downloaded, that's a lead magnet. That's a way that I can help you, but also helps me as now I have your email address and I can share my paid offers with you later when they're ready to go live. Or if I already have my product live, I can just take you through a funnel that I set up and automate and it becomes a money-making machine. Mm. We are finally at step four of this quick start Kajabi plan. And that is now to finally create your product. Now that you've got a wait list and you're building out your email list, you are ready to begin building out your course. Again, this is something I talk a lot about in the zero to 10 K course roadmap, but you have to sell people what they actually want, not necessarily what they need. So you sell them what they want, but you can give them what they need actually on the inside. I recommend to start off with something like a mini course over a community, unless you have a big community, start with the course, and then as you build it out, as you get more clients and you can add a community onto it would just be my recommendation. I have an extremely helpful step-by-step -step tutorial in how to create a course that I have linked down below. Now the fifth step of this plan is to create your sales page and offer page. A super common mistake that I see new course creators make is they really want to create a website. And let me tell you, you do not need a website. You just need a really good sales page and then an offer page where people check out. But your sales page is all that's needed to be able to make the sale and get people into your course or program. So I have a tutorial that takes you every step of the way in building out a sales page and even gives you a sales page template of the copy to follow and what template in Kajabi I recommend using and how to input it all. It's so helpful. Make sure you do that after you watch this video and going through these steps and the checklist. After you've completed this checklist, what 
comes next. Well, now it's time to sell your course. I would highly recommend to create sales email sequences that you send out manually. I wouldn't recommend to create a funnel right away. You need to figure out first what works. So manually send the emails, look at the analytics and see what's working. And then from there later on, if you want to automate your course, then you can create the funnel based off your emails that did the best. If you want me to make a more in-depth video on that, just let me know down in the comments and I will do that for you. Make sure you've downloaded my Kajabi quick starter checklist. And remember, simple and streamlined. You have got this. Go and start building out that dream business and let me know if you have any questions. Also, I'd love to know what kind of course or product you're creating. Let me know down in the comments so I can be cheering you on. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.